Squadron, Terran Patrol, Wing Gamma, 3 9 reporting, taking heavy damage, requesting immediate fighter cover and rescue. Come in, anybody! Mayday! Requesting immediate assistance! Anyone, please! Barely receiving you, Gamma 3 9 This is Terran Outpost Riviera responding. What is your situation? Oh, thank God! Our wing was ambushed! We didn't have a chance! I'm sure they're tracking me! Calm down, sir. Who attacked you? Was it the Vasudans? The Vasudans were killed, too! They slaughtered everyone! Sir, you have to calm down. You were attacked by Vasudans. Is that true? No, no! We were in a skirmish with a Vasudan patrol, and they just came out of nowhere and killed everyone! Who came out of nowhere, pilot? I, I don't know. But they weren't Vasudans, and they weren't Terran. Oh, God. They're these death black ships, and they flew like... Pilot! And their weapons pilot. were too much. They wasted everyone! Pilot, sit tight. We're sending a recovery craft right now. Send fighters! I, I know they're following me. Send everything you have now! Sir, I don't have anyone else on the scope. We're all free. It's going to be all right. No, it isn't! You don't understand! You weren't there! I can feel them following me. Oh my god! I'm dead! We're all dead! Picking up unknown jump signatures. Welcome to phase one of your basic training. Your instructor will walk you through multiple flight controls and HUD gauges. In the first section, you will learn the basic HUD gauges. Your effectiveness at clearing multiple targets, cargo containers, will then be evaluated. Good luck, pilot. Good morning, pilot. Don't touch the controls until told to do so. The first function you will learn is targeting. In the lower left hand corner of your HUD is your target view. The top line displays the targeted ship's name and class. The next line shows the distance to your target and its speed. Note the brackets around my ship, indicating I am your current target. As I fly out of view, the off-screen indicator will display. It points in the direction you must turn in order to face your target. Note how it moves as I fly around. It is always pointing at your target. Notice how the triangles separate. The farther apart they are, the farther you'll have to turn to face your target. Finally, note the number by the indicator. This is the distance to your target. The circular gauge near the bottom of your HUD is the radar. Friendly ships are shown in green. Hostile ships appear as red. Using your main flight controller, turn your ship toward mine. Stop when my ship is good. Now stay in that position. Now turn toward my ship again. Match my speed. Good, now follow me. Note how your speed automatically changes to match mine. To 
the left of the reticle is the speed gauge. The capital M next to the current speed indicates that you are matching speed with your target. Now I want you to use your acceleration key to move to within 75 units of me. Do not collide with my ship. Good. Now decelerate to drop 200 units behind me. Good. Now the afterburner. Engage your afterburner. The gauge to the left of your speed gauge indicates remaining afterburner power. Note that it is consumed rapidly. That extra speed is useful for quick evasive maneuvers. Maintain your max top speed. Try it now. Now come to a complete stop. Drone 1 has just warped in. Target it. Good. Now fly within 100 units of it, then come to a stop. Be careful not to fly too fast. Well done. Note that it takes some time to come to a complete stop. A group of cargo containers has just warped in. Target CTAC 01A. Good. Now inspect these cargo containers. In order to determine the contents of a ship or cargo container, you must target it, face it, and fly with it. The sound you heard indicates the cargo container has been inspected. Notice the cargo display in the target box at your lower left. Now fire your primary weapon at CTAC 01A. Hit it a few times, but do not destroy it. Near the center of your HUD, the hull integrity of your target is displayed. Notice that it is dropped from 100%. This information is also available in the upper right of your target display. Now destroy CTAC 01A. Good. Now destroy CTAC 02B and CTAC 03A. Remember to target them.
Congratulations on your successful completion of Phase 1. You are... Welcome to Phase 2 of your basic training. A cargo container will be delivered to the training area. You will be expected to demonstrate the targeting and firing skills that you acquired in Phase 1 of your training. After reviewing Phase 1 of your training, you will learn advanced targeting and firing techniques. Welcome to Phase 2 of your training. First, target the cargo container. Cycle through all... Good job. Destroy the cargo container with your ML-16. Nice shooting. Switch your primary weapon from the ML-16 to the disruptor. Good. The disruptor is an energy weapon that destroys the subsystems of a target, doing only minimal damage to the target's hull. Two practice drones will be used for this phase of the training. Target drone, good. Now target my ship, pilot. All right. You have a targeting control which allows you to target the nearest hostile target. If pressed again quickly, it will target the next nearest hostile object. Good. You can also target ship subsystems. By pressing the subsystem targeting control repeatedly, you can cycle through the subsystems of your target. When a subsystem is targeted, it is outlined by a large square. If the targeted object is not in view, it will be marked by a diamond. Target the sensors on Drone A. Nice work. You will use the disruptor to destroy the subsystems of an enemy ship when you do not wish to destroy the ship. Destroy the sensors on Drone A using the disruptor. Good. Target the sensors on Drone B. Notice the sensors on Drone B are not in your direct line of sight, even though you have it targeted. The diamond indicates where the subsystem is located. It is also indicated in the HUD target monitor. When ordered, you will fire your secondary weapon at Drone B. The MX-50 is a heat-seeking missile. When you are ordered to fire upon Drone B, the MX-50 will home in on your target. Destroy Drone B using the MX-50. subsystems on Drone A. Do it without destroying the drone.
successful. Good job. That is all for today's training. I'm going to destroy Drone A. Feel free to join me, pilot. are proficient in meeting the requirements for all of your training objectives. As a result, you are qualified to advance to Phase 3 of basic training. Welcome to the final phase of basic training. In this phase, your dogfight ability will be put to the test. You will be required to engage multiple waves of fighter drones. Some will be armed. You are expected to destroy as many of them as possible. Welcome to phase three of your training. This phase will cover dogfighting techniques. First, target my ship. You'll notice as I move, a circular indicator moves in front of my ship. That is the lead indicator. It indicates where you need to fire your primary weapon to hit your target. Target the unarmed drone that is just... The target box in the lower left-hand corner of the HUD displays the distance to and hull integrity of your target. Your target's hull strength is also shown in the lower part of your reticle. As I shoot the drone, notice its hull integrity drops slowly. A good dogfighting tactic is matching speeds with your target. You should be on the move at all times during a dogfight. Now destroy the drone. You also have missiles. Two new unarmed drones have arrived. Destroy both of them. Remember to match their speed. An easy way to target new hostiles is by using auto-targeting. This will automatically target your nearest hostile after your current target has either left the area or has been destroyed. This drone is armed. It will start firing upon you in as little as 10 seconds. Destroy it. Now comes the fun part. Five pairs of armed drones will jump in. Destroy as many as you can. You destroyed all 10 drones. Congratulations, this completes your basic training. Welcome to the GTA League of Defense.